now talk about the types of memory. Every computer has a certain amount of memory. The memory capacity determines how much data and instructions can be stored in the computer, either temporarily or permanently. The memory of a computer is of two types. Memory Internal primary memory External secondary memory RAM ROM Hard disk CD or DVD or Blu-ray disk, flash or pen drive, memory card. Okay students, let's talk about the internal memory. Internal memory is also called primary memory or main memory. It is the built-in memory designed to store data and instructions while the computer is working. The data stored in internal memory is erased when the computer is turned off. It is always easier to access data or programs from the internal memory as it is the fastest of all forms of computer data storage. Primary memory is of two types. RAM – Random Access Memory it stores the information temporarily and works like a blackboard that can be constantly overwritten with new data. The information stored in the memory is lost when you turn off the computer or when the power goes off. Let's see an example. It is like a calculator where information exists till the calculator is on. The moment you turn off the calculator, all the data disappears. ROM – Read-Only Memory It holds the startup instructions that prepare a computer for use. The instructions stored in ROM cannot be changed but can only be read. It retains the stored information even when the power is switched off. Let's see an example. ROM is like an audio disc that can be played, but we cannot record anything on it, except in a few selected circumstances. Okay, now let's talk about the external memory. It is used to store information for a longer period. Data is not lost in the external memory even when the computer is turned off. The external memory is essential because the internal memory of a computer has a limited storage capacity. It is also called a secondary memory. When we run a program, it is copied from the secondary storage into the internal memory. It takes more time to access data from the secondary memory as compared to the internal memory.